everybody and welcome to this new tutorial. This one's going to be something a little different. We're going to be doing a complete little mini project together. So we're going to make these really lovely little crochet bookmarks. So this is something that I whipped up quite a long time ago now actually for my daughter. She came downstairs asking um, for a bookmark because she didn't have one and she said she wanted a pencil and so I whipped up a little really simple pencil bookmark. So I'm going to be showing you the two different versions in the tutorial. So I've done like a traditional school pencil here with the eraser at the end and obviously done in the yellow colour and then the normal lead colour at the bottom. But then we've also obviously got the coloured pencils which can be done in absolutely any colours that you like. So I will be showing you how to make these and I really hope that you enjoy the tutorial. As always, if you don't subscribe to the channel then please do that now and click the little bell so that you keep up to date with all of the tutorials. So depending on whether you want to add the eraser or whatever at the end, we will start by making the main body of the pencil and I don't know whether it, the camera picks it up but it is actually ridged so it is you do get a slight 3D-ness to it like you would on a pencil. I'm going to be doing the full tutorial including the eraser but I'm not going to be doing it in this the traditional yellow colour purely because the camera doesn't pick it up that well. So I'm going to be doing a coloured pencil but with an eraser as well. So I've got my colours here I've got my bit for my main body and then I've got the bit for the wood. Um, last time I used something that was slightly darker obviously than the one I've got here but I just I literally haven't got any of this shade left so I'm just going to be using this creamy colour and then obviously a pink for the eraser if you're doing it but leaving it just as a normal pencil is actually really nice as well. You could have a whole set of them in all different colours but they're great for kids, great as presents, great as teacher gifts. Um, just a really nice little project. So you want to start with the slip knot on your hook. And we're going to start with a foundation chain of 30. Now I'm using DK yarn and a 4mm hook. If you're using thicker yarn or thinner yarn, then just adjust your foundation chain to be a length of approximately six inches. So it doesn't have to be really precise, but just approximately six inches. So I'm going to do, as I say, a chain of 30. Okay, so I've got my chain of 30, and we're now going to work back along this foundation row doing UK trebles. Now please remember in the US, this is your double crochet. So we're going to work into the fourth chain from the hook. So you can see we've got one, two, three, and this is the fourth. And you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that fourth chain, yarn over and pull up. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two and that is your first UK treble and you're going to work all the way along your foundation row doing one treble into every single stitch so again yarn over go into the next chain yarn over and pull up yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two I'll show you one more time yarn over insert into the next chain along, yarn over and pull up, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two. So if you work that now all the way to the end and that is where I will meet you in just a second. So I've worked that now all the way along so I've got one UK treble into every single chain. We're now going to turn our work and we're going to do our treble height stitch. So you want to insert your hook into that very first space here where your working end is coming up from. So insert your hook into there. Go through the whole of the stitch so that you get that little V. Yarn over and pull up. 
yarn over, pull through both of those loops and then you can see we've got two vertical parts to this stitch. You're going to go behind that one, yarn over, pull up and again yarn over, pull through two. And that just gives a really nice thick treble height stitch. Um, if you're a complete beginner you may wish to pop a little stitch marker into the top of that stitch that we've just created just so that when we work back along you know exactly where your final stitch needs to go. However, we're going to continue now and very simply we're going to work one treble all the way along into every single stitch except we're only going to be working in the back loops. So if I turn this you can see we've got all the V's running along here and we're going to be working into these back loops only and that is what is going to create that lovely texture. So yarn over, go through the back loop only, complete your treble, I'll do that one more time, yarn over, go through the back loop and complete and you'll work that all the way along and I will meet you just as you get to the other end. So I've worked that all the way along but I have this funny little chain it here from when we did our foundation row so you must make sure that you work into the top of those three chains that we skipped at the very beginning and you don't want to do a back loop only you want to try and go through the whole of a chain so yarn over and try and get two loops of the stitch if you can and complete that final treble. So that is how you should be looking and you should be able to see a little bit of that texture now. And basically you're going to repeat that last row two more times so that we have got four rows of trebles. So each time you will repeat it exactly as that last row was, so rewind if you need to and you'll work up and then you will complete the whole row working in the back loop. So if you do that now two more times and that is where I will meet you and we will do the next part of the pattern. I've completed my four rows, now you can see the little bit of texture I've got. So I've finished with this now, so I want to do a chain one. I'm going to snip off and just pull that yarn through. At this point, you may wish to just sew in your ends so that they're out of the way. You may find that your work curves or twists ever so slightly, but you really don't need to worry about that because once it's been, you can either block it obviously or you can, once it's been used a couple of times, obviously it will flatten itself out. So you don't need to worry about that. You can see mine's twisting ever so slightly here. Okay, so that's my ends done. You can wait till the end obviously to sew in all the ends, it's completely up to you. I just like to try and get them out of the way. So now I'm going to start with a slip knot on my hook again and I'm using my creamy brown colour and this is obviously going to form the wooden part of the pencil. And you want to insert your hook through the top of the final treble on the, on the corner and we're going to do a standing UK double. So in the US this is your standing single. So I've got my slip knot, I've inserted my hook through the very top of the final treble. I'm going to yarn over and pull up. I'll have my two loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through both of those. So along this edge now we want to work one double crochet evenly spaced all the way along but you do want to try and make sure that you have got an odd number. So try and get an odd number of evenly spaced double crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-
two. I'm not putting them anywhere majorly specific. I'm just trying to evenly space them. Obviously, make sure your very final one goes into that very corner. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven double crochets. I'm going to turn my work around. And again, just as before, we're going to insert our hook straight into that very first stitch where our working end is. Yarn over and pull up yarn over and pull through both and you're just going to do one UK double into every stitch along working through the whole of the stitch five six seven turn again and this is where we're going to start tapering it off into a more of a triangle. So instead of inserting your hook this time into the very first stitch we're going to miss this very first stitch and we're going to insert our hook into the second stitch. So miss this one and go into the next one and yarn over and pull up and do your double and again work that all the way along. Three four, five and six. So you should have one less than you did before and we have missed this first one. So again, we're going to turn, we're going to miss the first one and we're going to go into the second and this time we should end up with five. One, two, three, four, five, turn, miss the first one, one, two, three, four, turn once more and this is the final one we will do in this colour and you will miss the first one and then we we'll, should have three, one, two and three. Chain one and we're going to snip off, pull that out, turn and then whether you're using a grey for lead or whether you're using the same as the main body for a coloured pencil you're going to bring whichever colour you need, get your slip knot on your hook so I've got my new colour and you can see the final stitch from the last round. So you've got three stitches there. You want to insert your hook into the first one. Make sure you've got the whole of the stitch and yarn over and pull up and yarn over, pull through both. So we should have three stitches now, two and three, turn, in the same way as before, miss this first one and go into the second. So this time we should have two stitches, one, and two, and then final time turn and you should have two stitches so you're going to miss the first one and work into the second which is technically the the last stitch. Chain one, snip off and pull that out and again now you're just going to want to spend a minute weaving in these ends. So it shouldn't take too long, there's not that many of them. So that's me now, that's all my ends weaved in. I've got my the 
end of the pencil. And so obviously if you're just doing little coloured pencils to form like a little pack or something like that in all different colours then you could stop here. However, if you want to add the little eraser at the end, I will show you very quickly now how you can do that. Okie dokie, so we are ready now to, if you wish, add the eraser section to your pencil. So obviously if you're doing the more traditional school pencils, then you will probably want to add this on. So I've got my um, slip knot on my hook and I'm going to go through the top of that final stitch again just like we did before. Yarn over and pull up Oops. and yarn over pull through both and you're going to do a row of UK doubles so US single all the way along just like we did for the beginning of the brown section at the other end. Try and make sure that you have the same number of stitches going along here as you did going along the other end as well. So yeah, just one row of UK doubles all the way along. Six and seven. So I've got the same number there as I did at the other end. Turn around again and then, oops, through that very first stitch, you'll just insert your hook, yarn over and pull up yarn over, pull through both, and we're just going to do one UK double into the top of every single stitch. So it's really simple, this little bit now, and right into that very end one. And I'd actually snipped off my yarn by accident in case you're wondering what's happening here. So once you've done that all the way along again, you're going to do a chain one, you'd snip off, and then just pull that out. You can weave in your ends at this point. So you've got your little grey section and then you just grab your pink if you're doing this eraser and you're just going to do those two rows exactly the same again until your eraser is as large as you want it to be. So you'll just insert your hook through the top of the stitch Again, yarn over and pull up and do a double. And you'll just do as many rows of double as you wish. So you won't need me to sit here and do rows and rows of, of um, doubles again because I've just done two with you. But yeah, you will just do as many rows as you wish in the pink to finish off your project. So in this one here, I did one, two, three, I did four rows for this particular one here. So you should be able now to complete that. So whether you do the pack, like a little pack of multicolored pencils or the more traditional school pencils, obviously this I think is a bit more of a traditional US school pencil. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the UK ones are yellow and black stripes if I remember correctly and so you could obviously do that as well if you wanted to do yellow and black striped and then a red end which is what our pencils here have but yeah you can add on the little eraser end if you want to or just leave them as bright little sets of coloured pencils but I really hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial I know it's different to what we might normally do on this channel but I really do hope that you make some of these. As I say, they'd be great for kids, but also a really nice teacher gift as well. I know we're coming up to the end of term now. But yeah, I mean, this one, you can see this one's actually gone really fuzzy now, but that's because this is the one that my daughter's been using as her bookmark every day for probably about a year now. So it's held up well, but it is starting to get a little fuzzy around the edges. But yeah, that is it for the pencil bookmark tutorial, but do come back and see what we have next week. But that's all from me for now. Bye bye.